Now, the landlocked East African state of Uganda is estimated to be home to roughly 11% of the world's bird population. But even at those levels, the country lags way behind Kenya, Tunisia and South Africa in the number of bird-watching tourists who go there. Gorilla safaris have been one of the East African nation's best-selling packages, but promoters now say Uganda has to diversify. Isabel Nakiria tells us why. The search for endemic birds is making Uganda an attractive destination. Uganda has over 1,000 species of birds, making up 50% of birds on the continent. And species like the fox weaver are only found in Uganda. And the shoebill is found in only 10 African countries, including Uganda. Promoters of birding say the activity has huge potential to grow tourism numbers. For birders, it's a quest. They're on a quest for new birds, which we call lifers. So when uh, a bird-watching um, enthusiast adds a bird on their list, they're very excited. Uganda has about 12 bird-watching sites and, and over 20 national parks and reserves spread across the country. Each habitat is said to have a favorable climate for the different species of birds, making Uganda a bird paradise. This popular site by the shores of Lake Victoria attracts larger birds like the hornbills that prefer to nest in places like this with abundant tree cover. But not many tourists make it here and guides say a lot more needs to be done to market Uganda to bird watchers. Uganda receives more than 10 million migratory birds from wintry Europe annually and it's an exciting adventure for tourists. Hearing the different sounds of birds and seeing a few birds that I recognize from England. So the white birds, the little egrets, if we can, we'd like to see more. And we're going to carry on walking around now to see what we can, what we can see, what we can hear, and um, see if we can recognize some of them. Bird enthusiasts say birding has the potential to grow Uganda's tourism earnings if well promoted and if their habitats are well protected. Uganda is losing 2% of the wetlands to agriculture and construction annually, which is a threat to bird habitats. It's estimated that a birder spends close to 20 days on excursions, much longer than any other tour package like gorilla trekking. We have very limited published literature in, uh, for example, if you decided to look for birds of Uganda, You'll find birds of East Africa, which lumps us with uh, Kenya, Tanzania, Rwanda, and um, you don't find that specific content that is saying birds of Uganda. Tourism contributes about $1.6 billion annually to Uganda's economy. The government says it's taking measures to market the country as a tourist destination globally. Promoters of birding say the product could be a perfect leap to Uganda's tourism revenues if more conservation efforts are put in. Isabel Nakiria, CGTN, Entebbe, Uganda.